Hello everyone, um, Evil Tunic here. Um, this is Rocket League, and I, and with me, several other people, wondered if there was actually a difference between the cars in this game. And, well, I tested some of the aspects, and I noticed that there was indeed a difference between the turning circles of all the vehicles. So, I decided to have a go, and um, test all the vehicles, and, um, it's actually quite surprising, the results. For me anyway um, so yeah I, I basically tested them all comprised a list and this is basically it so what I've done is line up every car here this is tile 1 tile 2 and tile 3 so um, yeah what I've done is line up the car up on this line every time and uh, turned the steering wheel all the way to the left and then hit the throttle so that uh, the car will max out its um, its top speed really and then um, the turning circle of every car would be as big as possible for that particular car so um, some of the turning circles for cars are actually quite small making them very good for maneuverability others are quite large so um, yeah let's get into it then So, first up is the Backfire. This car has the largest turning circle of all of them, really. It only barely touches the third tile, making it, yeah, pretty much the car with the largest turning circle. So, I would not recommend using this car if you were going for maneuverability. Next up is the Paladin, and this was actually quite surprising because I really like to use this car and when you're driving it, it doesn't really feel like it's this hard to turn the car but when you actually test it, it there's only, only the backfire has a larger turning circle on this one see this one as well third tile only barely managed to touch it only, only barely gets all four wheels in so yeah, that was quite surprising to be fair The next couple of vehicles are pretty close together. Um, they all have pretty much similar turning circles. This is the Gizmo, and I, I don't really like this car. I think it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people use it anyway, but that could just be me. But um, yeah, it, it pretty much catches two and a half tile, and this pretty much the same goes for the Venom here. Um, the Venom and the, and the Gizmo pretty much get the same turning circle. Still quite large compared to um, some of the cars with the smaller turning circles, but not as large as the as the Backfire or the Paladin, obviously. This is the X Devil in seventh place. Its turning circle is just a little bit smaller than that of the Venom and the Gizmo, so it's yeah, it's it's still quite similar, and I wouldn't recommend using this, also because it doesn't look very good, to be fair. So in 6th place we have the Merc, and to be fair this was actually quite a surprise to me that it's, its turning circle was this small relatively, um, because it, it's very big, it feels heavy, you wouldn't think it would its turning circle would be this small, but it pretty much is, so you, it comfortably gets inside the third tile, no problem whatsoever for the Merc. So yeah, to, to me that was uh, quite surprising. And this is the Octane, which pretty much gets the same turning cycle as the Merc. The Octane, uh, one of the cars you get at the beginning. I think it's actually the default car to start out with. And yeah, it pretty much gets the same turning cycle as the Merc.
quite similar to the Merc, we have the Roadhog. This is actually the fourth position already. Um, yeah, same as the Merc, it's quite big, feels heavy, but it's got an even smaller turning circle than that. Just misses out on hitting the second tile, but comfortably inside the third tile. With a, a pretty small turning circle. Then in third place we have Sweet Tooth. I think this is a PS4 exclusive vehicle. Um, it actually feels pretty quick, and it actually has a, a really small turning circle. You see, it just misses out on hitting the second tile. Just can't do it. But yeah, the turning circle is still pretty small, and it looks good. This car, I like it. So the top two spots are actually the hot shot and the breakout. Um, I really like using the breakout because I, I like the way it looks. Not so much for the hot shot, but yeah, their turning circles are pretty much the same. See, they get two wheels inside of the second tile. The only two cars to be able to do that. Their turning circles are really, really small. So yeah, if you were going for on the ground maneuverability, I would recommend using either the hot shot or the breakout. This is actually one of my favourite cars, along with the Paladin, but since I've tested this, I might not be using the Paladin so much anymore. So there you have it, the turning circles of all the vehicles in Rocket League. If you are going for on the ground maneuverability, I would recommend using one of the top two vehicles in this video. Um, yeah, I might test some more attributes of these cars, see if there's a difference between them, like top speed or strength, flying capabilities. I'm not sure about that. Let me know if you would like to see that. Alright, cheers.